here we are going to solve a mixer boundary condition problem wherein we take an infinitely long block and we are going to apply temperatures to two sides and one side we keep it as insulated and the other side we are going to give the convection condition so what happens here both conduction as well as convection occurs inside this particular block and we are going to see the temperature distribution inside the block using ANSYS so I have opened ANSYS APDL mechanical launcher and I have given the job name simple conduction and click on run so that it opens uh, ANSYS APDL and this is a thermal problem so go to preferences select the thermal and press ok go to the preprocessor element type add edit delete add and go to the thermal mass inside thermal mass select the solid and you select the quad 4 node 55 element and press ok then close this one then go to material properties material models thermal conductivity isotropic and you enter the value as 10 and press ok then you close this one and go to modeling and go to create areas rectangle by two corners and put 0 0 that means the starting point will be from the origin and the width and height will be 1 meter by 1 1 meter so I am entering 1 by 1 press ok so once we created the area then we need to mesh it so go to the meshing go to mesh tool and go to area set say pick all and give the element edge length as 0 0.05 remember uh, we have given the thermal conductivity values in uh, watts per meter centigrade that means all the temperatures we are going to enter will be in degree centigrade all the uh, un length units will be in meters so raise hidden and uh, go to mesh and select this area and mesh once the mesh is completed say raise hidden and close this particular tool then uh, go to this uh, loads in the loads define loads apply in that thermal temperature on lines and select the top line and press ok and uh, take the temperature as you can see the top temperature on the top surface is 500 degrees so I have selected 500 and say apply now we need to select this particular line and press ok and we need to enter a temp or give a temperature value of 100 degrees uh, centigrade and press ok now what we need to do is we need to give an uh, convection condition onto this surface and we are going to give insulated condition onto this surface so for that purpose uh, close this thermal and go to the convection and in the convection select on lines and select this particular line and press ok now we need to give a convective coefficient value film coefficient value which is uh, 10 watts per meter square degree centigrade so I will enter it 10 and the uh, temperature the, the bulk temperature at that particular uh, surface is uh, 100 degree centigrade so I have uh, entered 100 and press ok then uh, I need to give a condition here so see this particular uh, line uh, then I need to give another insulation condition so what I will do is I will go to the on lines and select this particular line and press ok then uh, I need not give any film coefficient as uh, if I give any film coefficient convection will occur if I don't enter any value it will take the value by default as 0 so that we are going to simulate the insulation condition so once we have applied all the required loads we are going to go to the solution say solve current ls and press ok the solution is done now what we will go to the general post processing go to plot results contour plot nodal solution and DOF solution nodal temperature and press ok so this will be the distribution of the temperature inside the solid due to the mixed boundary conditions once you finished it press click on save db and uh, go to file say exit and uh, save everything and press ok